Hello there. Thank you for coming back uh, to part two of Dice Throws. Again, um, if you have not watched part one, please watch that. And uh, in this second part of the Dice Throws problem, we will be looking into memorization. Um, the reason why memorization will work in our favor here is because uh, we will be doing processing the same uh, total over and over and over again. Um, the reason why uh, we're doing this uh, process of uh, looking at the same total over and over again is because, um, let's say uh, we have already seen um, a 1 plus 3 is 4. So we've seen um, what happens if we have a, a 4 and we have the same amount of dice. Uh, well, the result's going to be the same, but we're going to repeat that process here because we don't have that uh, data saved. We will be doing all the faces every single time, and we'll be going digging into it until we reach uh, the one, and we and we and we go back up and return our solution. And that's going to be very expensive. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, currently the number of faces to um, the number of uh, times, a number of dice. So uh, it's faces to the n power. That's a lot of um, compute. And that led to our timeout. Um, so in order to solve this, we're going to uh, memorize um, our, like, uh, the, the current uh, the number of dice we have and the total. Uh, the reason why we can do this is because faces don't change. So if, um, let's say, the total is less than zero, if total is currently less than zero, let's get that out of the way. We don't need to see it. Um, we'll just return zero. Okay, else if, um, n is equal equal to zero. We're going to return the same thing. Re return one if total is equal equal to zero, else zero. And else if, if we've seen this uh, process being done before in memo, return uh, the memo of um, this particular uh, number of dice and the total. So um, let's get this, um, we're going to have number of ways is equal to zero, and we're going to do the same process over again, it's the same thing, right? So for uh, face in range of one through faces, because of we start at one, we don't start at zero, and we need to get up to faces. So um, number of ways, as, as we saw earlier, is equal to the um, one less dice, and the total minus the face to get our new total. Um, then uh, we would memorize uh, what that was for uh, the previous uh, number of dice and totals. And we're going to return the number of ways. With that, uh, we can return the result now. Let's uh, return. Let's run. And sub. Oh, that is not what we want. Uh, submit, please. All right, great. Um, we have solved this problem, uh, and we have made it much faster using memorization. Uh, remember, whenever you have a face a situation where uh, you are repeating the 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 same um, like uh, branches of trees, um, you can use memorization to save on uh, the the time time complexity. The amount of time you actually save is actually um, to, the, the, to the nth power. We're going to just do O of n at this point because we're just doing one row of everything. We're only doing everything once. 
Um, you can also see this uh, process done in a problem called like a Fibonacci sequence. Um, and uh, I, I think that will be very helpful. Um, anyways, uh, we're going to move on to part three of this problem in the next video, where we'll be using um, the, a, a, a DP solution, um, and where, where we'll be doing a bottom-up approach um, using uh, O of N space and uh, building up to the solution. It is very similar to a coin change uh, solution problem and uh, you might find that video in some in, in my in my list of videos uh, eventually or somewhere on YouTube as well. Well if you have any questions uh, please comment below. If you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and you can find more of my videos in the link in the description below. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.